So I had a request for a tutorial for my instrumental version of She's Not There by The Zombies. Um, if you've not seen this yet, it's not on my YouTube channel. It is on my Instagram channel where every day I'm uploading a new ukulele instrumental. I'm up to about 274 days in a row uploading. Uh, so check that out. I'll put a link to the song we're talking about. Uh, below and please check that out first if you haven't already done so so you know what we're talking about so uh, she's not there by the zombies uh, hit in 1964 um, band from like St Albans I think and this song was written by the keyboard player whose name I have forgotten and the version that I do not sure if it's the same as the original key is all in a minor so we'll take a look at all the chords that you're going to need uh, as we go through and then we'll talk about how you fit the melody around those chords. So it's in A minor and every time we play A minor it will be the open A minor where you just fret the G string on the second fret and leave everything else open like this. And the song is totally in A minor until the very last chord where it goes from being an A minor to it ends on an A major, so it changes to a major at the end. Uh, that's something, fact fans, it's called a T.S. to Piketty and is really common in uh, church music uh, of the Renaissance period um, or the Baroque period, one of those periods. So it's not just something the animals have invented, it's a really common thing in classical music. So we're going to use A minor, this A minor. We're going to use the A major once, which is the same as the A minor but you are fretting the first fret on the C string um, but as I say that's the, only the very last chord in the song. We're going to use uh, a couple of different positions of D major so you're going to have the position where you're fretting on the second fret for the G, C and E strings here but you probably don't want to use three individual fingers to do that. You probably want to bar it because we're going to be um, we're going to be using our other fingers to actually play the melody. Um, so we're going to be using the D major. We'll also use a D minor at some point. So the same fretting on two for the G and C strings. Uh, fret on the first fret for the E string. And the fifth fret for the A string. We're going to use that uh, D minor. We're going to use um, an open F where we fret on the second fret for the G string, the first fret for the E string, third fret for the A string and leave the C string open. Oh, we're also going to use a D major up here, which is starting on the ninth frets for the C string, 10th fret for the E string and the 12th fret on the A string. Going to be using that one there, uh, muting the G string at that point. So you can either just be very careful and not hit it, or you can wrap your thumb over and mute it that way, however you like. You're going to be using uh, a D string D chord up there. We're going to use an open E minor here. So open G string, and then fourth fret on the C string. 3rd fret on the E string and 2nd fret on the A string. We're going to play a C major kind of up here. So open G and C strings and then we are on the 8th and 7th frets for the E and A strings. there and finally we're going to play an E major chord all the way up here so this is on the 11th fret for the C and A string and the 12th fret for the E string and again we're going to mute the uh, G string it's not involved so those are the chords we're going to use the verse bounces between an A minor, open A minor, and a D chord that we use. And then the third time it bounces to the F, and then back to the A minor. So that's 
the chords without any melody on. A minor, D, A minor, A minor, F, A minor. And then we fit the melody in um, mainly on the E and the A strings. So open A string to the third fret and then up to the seventh fret. There must be. And then as we play the next note in the melody, we are going to change to our D chord. So we're going to bar across these and also hit the fifth fret on the A string down to the third, and then the fifth fret on the E string. to go to the third fret back on our A chord and we're going to play the third fret on the A string and then back to our D chord and we're going to play the fifth fret on the A string. to our A minor chord and we sound the A on the open A string and then we're going to go to the F major instead of the D and we're going to play the third fret on the A string and then back to the open A and then third fret on the E string and then back to the open A again. And then we're back on our A minor chord. So that part from the F. Okay, so all together that gives us and then we can repeat all that um, chord wise but the melody is slightly different so that's what we've got so far Slightly similar, second part of the verse. Okay, so the first difference there is instead of going the first time we go to D, we're going to go. So the, the change there is to just play that fifth fret note on the A string rather than the E. So. to still our A minor but we're going to fret this A string on the seventh fret to give us the E in the melody. If you find that too much of a stretch you could just play your A minor chord here. So that is the same as our open E minor chord we talked about earlier and we're going to use later, but you just uh, shift it up by um, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Either way, we're going to end up with an A minor chord with the highest note being here, the melody note being this E. And then we're going to go to our high D minor chord, um, which we're going to play. It's the same shape as the G, the open G, but we're going to shift it all the way up to the um, three, five, seven, ninth and tenth frets. So we're going to not play this string here because that has uh, no purpose. Um, I'm going to play, but we're going to play the fourth of the chord, which so before we go to the note that's actually in the chord. So it's the ninth fret on the C, tenth fret on the E string, ninth fret on the, oh, it's not the ninth fret, we're going to play the tenth fret. So it's that sus fourth kind of chord. But then we're going to resolve it by going up to the... Twelfth fret on the A, so... to the hook um, using the F that's the same as the previous one. Okay, and then we go to a different point. We're gonna move up to D. And this is the part of the song that goes, and there's no need to say you're sorry. So we go in our A minor shape. We bounce from the open A string to the A string on the third fret to play the C. So it's our D major shape where we are fretting or barring across the second fret and then adding the fifth string on the A string for that top D. So we play that note twice, and then we're going to play an A uh, D minor. It's going to change, keeping that top melody note the same. We're going to swap to our D minor shape. So I do that by swapping my bar over to my middle finger and only fretting the first two, the G and the C strings, and then fretting the first fret on the E string, so that's drop down one to give it that minor. And then we're going to play that E on the seventh fret of the A string. I can't quite stretch that reliably, keeping the D minor shape, so what I tend to do just play that in isolation. I can't hold that chord. If you've got like a massive um, little finger or you're playing on a smaller scale ukulele like a soprano, this is uh, a tenor. And you might be able to make that stretch, but I can't, so I just stop playing the chord. And then back to our A minor and we drop the third fret on the A string down to the open string. E minor for the first time. So that's our E minor shape. Um, but you might not want to play the A string, the B that's on the A string on the second fret, 
because the melody is actually only on the lower note and that might overpower it. And then is going from the third fret of the E string, so that's a G, to the E on the C string, which is on the fourth fret. And then the D, which is the second fret, and then back up to the E. And then we go to the A minor chord. So, so that whole section. something quite similar exactly the same and now we're going to change we're going to go up to the uh, C so we're going to have open strings on the C and the G string and then on the E and the A string we're all the way up to the 8th fret for the E string so that's a C and then 7th fret for the A string and then we're going to bounce up and down to the 10th fret Okay, so back bounce up to that 10th fret. And then we're gonna to go to that E shape, which is just the G shape, but transposed all the way up to the 11th and 12th fret. So that's 11th fret on the C string, 12th fret on the E string, and 11th fret on the A string. And we're not playing anything on the G string. So I've just got that muted just by wrapping my thumb over. So. And then we're just going to go into the ending, which is going to be a bunch of repeated A's before we go into the A minor. Now, it's up to you, you might prefer to play those on the same string. There, I'm just using the open A string. Repeated notes, you might find it easier to fret the G string on the second fret, which is also an A, the same note, and just swap between them. Up to you, I would not about which version to do, I think I ended up doing it. But you can do it. And then the final bit is going back to alternating between the A minor and the D and the A minor and the F, just like we do in the verse, but the melody is slightly different. So we're doing on an A minor, A open, and then E string fretted on the third fret, down to the open. So we swap onto the D major, back to the A minor, and just keep ringing that in out, and then to the F. And it does that a couple of times. I actually cut that short in my version compared to the record, so have a listen. You uh, probably want to put a few more of those interchanges in, but I had to cut it short to make sure I could fit it into a minute for Instagram. But 
when you finished, however many you do there, remember that we're going to finish on the A major for that T.S. Picardy, where we uh, finish a minor song on this major chord. <laughs> So that should give you everything you need to put together your own version of uh, my instrumental version of that song. Um, you'll have to do it um, listening along to the record, I'm sure, to put it together. Um, but have fun, hit me up if you have any questions, and let me know if there's anything else you want me to do a tutorial on. Thanks very much. <laughs>